hello guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an aim coach and i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is just me sharing with you um how i'm going to be using this chocolate mint now this is dried chocolate mint but you can use it fr fresh as well um my hands are clean i've just finished washing the dishes and um i've got a tray here which i'm going to be using to put whatever residues that I remove from there from the um, dried chocolate mint now I've got a tub of ice cream here this is the Swedish glaze um, one the smooth vanilla made with soy and it's dairy free this is the only vanilla um, ice cream they had so um, it's not that we are allergic to dairy or anything we're not um, but this is what they had in the shop that we went to today Sunday so shops do close early and um, by the time we went out this evening to get some ice cream it was closed so you can see I've left it to melt a little bit okay now I'm going to be using a clean um, serving spoon okay now I want to create a sort of a well on the sides. I'm going to scoop some out and put it on the lid and then sort of create a well on the side okay so then because it's already dry I'm just going to take it and sprinkle it in okay now I don't want the dry sticky bit so that's the bit that I'm going to be putting on the, on the side I just want the leaves Okay, is there any sticky bits? Okay. Now my son has never tried this flavor which works this ice cream before which works perfectly <laughs> for when which is perfect for when he actually tries it he'll be none the wiser he will not know that i added anything to it because he's sleeping so that's one side so i'm just gonna scoop this back to cover it and i'm gonna cover it completely and then i'm gonna dig the same well side on this side and do exactly the same it smells absolutely beautiful the chocolate mint So if you're using fresh, you could just wash your mint and um, chop it up and then sprinkle it over the ice cream and then refreeze it.
Okay, so now I'm gonna just combine it well. Just mix it to combine it well. Picking up the sticks bit. Because you don't want it to be a health hazard, a choking hazard. Any, anybody eating? Okay. So now I'm going to. this bit to it. So that when we scoop it, there's that consistency in flavor throughout. There's consistency. Right. Okay, I'm trying to clean it to the eyes. Of it. Okay, that's it. So now he can put his sprinkles on if you want to top it with chocolate sprinkles or multicolored sprinkles you could do that i'll just eat it the way it is because it's already flaked let's cover it and that's it put it back put it in the freezer and you'll freeze and then we'll serve it what is that as we go along okay so that's it guys i shall see you in the next video let me know which flavor ice cream we like best we normally have vanilla because we can um create our own toppings to give it the extra flavor that we want so we normally go with vanilla but i like um chocolate ice cream i like strawberry ice cream raspberry ripple um mascarpone ice cream i like different flavors ice cream so that's it guys i shall see you in the next video bye